Hello, welcome back to Brenda Sushi Live Nodding. In this episode, we're gonna try to play a bit with uh, reaction diffusion. Um, what is reaction diffusion? You can Google on that. Basically, it's kind of simulations that use some kind of mathematic, uh, mathematics models kind of to simulate uh, the reaction between two or more chemicals. Um, but anyhow, for all the details, you can read Google and find more information. Um, you can actually find a really good uh, simulations using JavaScript. Um, simulation and I think it should come on top. This one. Um, I think it's uh, it was created using JavaScript and this is actually live and interactive and it's really really cool. You can play around with the feed rate death rate and all that uh, give it a try there's also all kind of uh, this a uh, different uh, formula or algorithm basically uh, you can spend some time using this play around with it but anyhow we're gonna try to do the same thing um, in spare shop I'm basically just gonna be giving a demo this is um an example of reaction diffusion script um, custom script created uh, by Zephy one of Spreadshop developer and you can create something like this um, quite easily using the script nodes and the script is something that you can just download from here um, this is you just click on the link and you get this uh, example of reaction diffusion simulations. You just actually simply copy the script and then bring it into Blender, uh, into Spreadshop frameworks. The result is gonna be something like this. I'm gonna give you the f one of example. Um, so this is 3.33 gigabyte of alembic result of the simulations. I think it's about 25,000 frame. This looks like uh, just a couple of minutes to bake. But this is how we start. And the simulation will give you this result. You can see it's very, very cool. It's just a, uh, you're gonna end up with just a uh, vector points and that, that I bake here as Alembic. So we can get this kind of interactivity and that's when the simulations kind of uh, stop and end it. So around 25,000 frames once again, and you get you can get that kind of result. And there's a random seed that you can play around with. Um, so yeah, let's see. Let's see how we can create that. Delete everything, go to compositing, create a text editor, new, call it just a zef, rd.py rd for reaction diffusion and let's grab this script it's not too long it's like un under 100 uh, lines of code and it's actually pretty interesting what he, uh, he set up here as an example I'm, I'm probably I, di I didn't understand it 100% but Basically, the, this this is a custom script node. So there is a bunch of attributes, uh, inputs. There's a number of steps. By default, one thousand two hundred. But uh, before you can see, I I can go up to twenty five thousand frames. But for this, I'm gonna give like just five hundred. So it's not too long to bake. The seed. This is a uh, any number you're gonna give. You give to the seed will it will pick randomly um, a, a one of this algorithm and there is a frame number that we can use to scrub over the, the cache data and the output is gonna be vertices and so you, this is the Python script that you can study if you like import random module import numpy and then this is the class for diffusion reaction reaction diffusion the class have functions and this is where it gets uh, very complicated and we have 
get frame and store frame this is like uh, i think method to do the caching of data so what's gonna happen uh, i'll show you real quick i'm gonna save this just in case it crashes sv reaction diffusion 001 save all good create a scripted node light just point it into the text load it and while it's loading it's actually already processing you can see it's really running the processing already and it will go from 0 to 100 percent and we set it up so it uh, it runs for 500 frames let's see what we're gonna get um, let's wait a couple of seconds and then it's done now it's completed it's not gonna bake until we click on reload so this is pretty cool so you have like a button here that will reprocess um, the result let's look at it with a viewer draw connect this vertices there and then here we can then control the frame number oh that's uh there you go that's 500 frames goes really really fast and it stops okay you get that uh, we can have frame info here plug into the frame number so we can then scrub over here i always forget we have this thing to scrub uh, it's up to you you can use this as well but this is uh, pretty handy so let's save this and yeah so that's the kind of the process if you want to get some kind of result normally at this point um, this is still only like a preview if you want to bake it use a viewer b mesh so you can bake and cache this point so we have 500 uh 500 frames of cache cache data i have this guy selected if i just go file export alembic it's not gonna work we kind of need to force it using displace modifier set the strength to zero now if we go file export alembic selected objects only 500 frames let's bake wait few uh wait for few seconds and it's done so basically i can go file import alembic grab the simulations so we have this guy which is completely separate now this uh our simulations we can just relocate it to the side so we have um yeah we have the same simulations but this one is just a uh, now just a alembic cache it's a you see this mass sequence cache so this is a uh, this gonna perform really really fast while the other guy is just cache caching um so what what else can we do here 500 apparently 500 frames is not that interesting we can go we need to go a little bit further so let's try 2000 frames change the seed this can be any number it's gonna pick randomly from here um, you can also use your own parameter but i think this is this is the good number that's gonna give you interesting result you can actually instead of random you can just pick the seed uh, i think you can specify it somewhere here anyhow let's run this reload and this is gonna go a little bit longer now oh this one actually is gonna go pretty slow 100 frames okay one seconds one frames that's okay we can perhaps do something else um let's look at the script again so reaction diffusion is not it's not an easy subject it's actually but um i heard that it's not actually that complicated as well it's just a simulations um let's try to understand the math be behind it oh well if you google you probably will get a, a good articles talking about this currently i'm just guessing so du random choice okay there's some kind of 
value with these simulations it's um, I think it's gonna start with um, kind of like a balance substance um, you cannot specify the the starting points unlike the unlike the other um, reaction diffusion simulation so this one you can actually give some points at any time and you can interact with it while it's simulating until until the chemicals kind of settle and balance and you get this really pretty wild aliens kind of pattern very natural uh, pattern and then you can change the color yeah this this one is really good example of uh, reaction diffusion there are plenty of other example on online and you can play around with the, the rate as well see either chemical you can have which one is stronger and then the other gonna give a different result um, let's try chaos see chaos wow it's pretty wild this one maze it's very cool it's just uh, this is like a 2d one similar to scratch off this one is a bit more interactive because of javascript is pretty fast with this kind of thing while we are doing here it's a uh, less fast okay but it's a uh, hundred percent already completed we can save this and again i will do the baking so this guy now can go up to 2000 frame let's have a look see this one is now slightly different i think it's picking the picking a different simulations and still 2000 frames not as cool but you can kind of go all the way 5000 10000 and 25000 seems to be a nice number it's gonna take a while you, you can give this a try yourself and if you ever want to bake it out you can use the the mesh um metaballs because this is just a vector points it's a dots it doesn't render you can always use the um, these points plug into the this meta balls and you can render it like that uh, which one is the new one let's check so this this alpha zero okay this meta ball is from these dots right here and the other guy this one mass sequence cache we can probably move it somewhere there you go this is the alembic one but but we can also easily turn this one that's already baked as alembic um bring it into sphere chalk and give it a some kind of meta balls so it can render meta balls you can up res the resolutions over here increase the radius and maybe reduce this number so you can get higher detail so like i said 2000 frames not as interesting again but you can you can play around with the number this one will give you how many different possible uh, possibilities i think not much unless i'm wrong and it's actually giving a different number each time but or um uh, well if you're really interested with this you can study and change the number and perhaps make it so that it also takes um, another input uh, so you can have like a starting points i imagine that if you use grease pencil you know just draw like random strokes and then you use the grease pencil data plug it into the script notes that you modified and so it takes an input 
and so you can have like a different result each time so that's gonna be more interesting than just a random seed based on these uh, parameters but that's for you to try uh, and maybe if I will try that as well at some point but yeah this is actually pretty interesting it's not easy but um, but you got something to start here already and this is thanks to uh, Zephy for this example um, anyhow if you're interested you can just play around with the seed and the steps try like 25,000 frames bake it for just in just few minutes you're gonna get quite interesting result just like the, the one I show you earlier so this is the another result that's already baked with this guy um, I can just use objects in grab this guy right here and then plug it into the metaballs and let's see if this is fast enough and you get that kind of like a 2d um yeah it's 2d interesting pattern i don't know if it's uh, gonna give you a different pattern each time but so far so good it's a uh, this is one example of the result uh, it's interesting i don't know how you're gonna use it for but uh yeah it's, i think it's it's a good starting point if you ever want to experiment with uh, reaction diffusion so there you go that's uh, an example of uh, reaction diffusions from Zephy. Um, give it a try yourself if you have interest with uh, this kind of thing install spreadshock add-on and then just run this on your computer and then yeah you can get interesting pattern based on this okay thanks again for tuning in and i'll see you next time bye